My name is Eric Hatter. I'm the Chief Mechanical Officer at Grand Canyon Railway. So this project is going to improve our energy efficiency here at Grand Canyon Railway. Our 64 miles of railroad runs from Williams, Arizona up to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Both endpoints are at a similar elevation, but the railroad drops 1,100 feet in the center. As we're coming down the hill towards the center of the railroad, the energy from our braking efforts is being dissipated as heat. So what we thought is if we were able to recapture that energy and store it as electricity in our batteries, then we could recharge our batteries on the downhill and then continue to use that energy in order to propel the train up the hill on the other side. This concept is going to be a model to demonstrate this technology in the future of short line railroading. That a railroad can take this technology if they know their operation and they know the design parameters, they can customize a battery electric locomotive for their operation that's going to save on fuel, save on maintenance, and improve reliability. This locomotive will operate nearly every day on Grand Canyon Railway. The batteries are expected to have a lifespan of around 12 years, after which time they can be easily replaced. And with a new set of batteries, the locomotive could operate for another 12 years. So we're expecting about a 25 year lifespan out of this locomotive on our operation. When the batteries are no longer able to be used for a locomotive application, they're still going to be able to be repurposed for other applications, something like a battery storage for a solar generating system or also emergency backup for a facility of some sort, like our shop facility here in Williams. Grand Canyon Railway got this funding through the Chrissy Grant Program. And Chrissy funds are intended in order to improve the safety, efficiency, and reliability of railroads in the United States. Small operations like Grand Canyon Railway don't always have the means, the financial means, in order to do their own research and development into new technologies such as this. So this funding is going to be used to help to develop this technology for the benefit of all railroads in America.